Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much for joining me as we go ahead and take a look into a brand new series today. Today, we're going to go ahead and take a look into a show called Big Time Rush. This is season number one, episode number one called Big Time Auditions. Uh, well, audition, not auditions, but you guys know where I'm going at with this. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. Um, so recently, you guys, recently we did a poll, uh, you know, asking you guys what you guys would prefer for me to go ahead and watch. And this was one of those shows that got a lot of votes. Um, but there were other shows. There were other shows that uh, were mentioned and got more votes than this one. Uh, but the problem with that is is that I actually did watch some of those shows uh, where I knew you know a lot of the story to it. For example, Hannah Montana and other shows that we posted up there on our poll uh, out there on Patreon. So uh, we decided to go ahead and watch this one. Um, I am familiar with a little bit of this show. Um, I have an eight-year-old son who is a big fan of this show. Um, he, he's always listening to the music. Uh, he watches episodes all the time to the point where I probably walked in um, on him just watching an episode or two, but not not enough to where I was like sitting there fully watching it for the story or anything like that. So I really don't know too much about the show Big Time Rush. Um, I do know that they are a band. Well, at least in real life. I know in real life they're a band. I'm not sure if in the start of this show they're going to be a band or you know, based off the title, it says big time auditions. Maybe they get formed in the first episode here. So should be pretty fun and should be pretty interesting. I do know that they have some pretty awesome songs. Um, with that being said, I don't know if this show is considered to be a musical or if it's like, you know, very similar to Nashville. If you guys see my uh, reaction to Nashville, um, maybe it's like that where we have songs every once in a while and it's not technically considered a musical i'm not sure but we're gonna go ahead and just take a look into it and see exactly what we're getting ourselves into so if you are a fan of big time rush if you are a fan of what we do here in geeked out nation please feel free to leave the like comment subscribe and of course check us out on our patreon if you guys want some early and unedited episodes anyways ladies and gentlemen this is big time rush and here we go <laughs> oh, okay. I thought it was because they were big and blown up and superstars already. <laughs> well, at least she said, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to break her. Carlos, the guy who's folded up his legs, Logan. I didn't catch the main guy so far. With the Zac Efron hairstyle. <laughs> what was that? Not going to Hollywood. <laughs> you didn't even try. <laughs> yo, he looks like well, he's straight. He looks fresh out of High School Musical, yo. <laughs> he does. <laughs> No okay, I don't know talent. about that. Yeah, I don't know about that now. No he sounded talent. pretty okay. You're the one with no talent. You haven't had a hit in 10 years. Hey, oh. Girl, my, heart, my boy Quake was a hit nine years. For mooning 20 hours community service. I can live with that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get more friends. Anger management issues. <laughs> Some people say I have anger management issues. Yeah, we I can see that. Have five houses. You say, kiddo, huh? You want to go out to LA and be molded and shaped into a big old star? Yeah, if my Steve friends come with me. Rock? <laughs> yeah, right. If they could come with me. What is the point of this? Breaking right. Guys, I don't want to go to L.A. with that jerk. I want to be here with you jerks and play hockey for our team. But this is... Uh, oh! Sorry. Okay. What were they thinking? The one, you have to call that guy back. You should 
still call him. Oh, did a did a car just hit him? <laughs> what other odd things do you carry in your pockets? My lucky comb and eight by ten personalized headshots. Oh, that's what they were doing. Oh, I'm like, why would they just hit some Parker? random person's car? Play with you and record some demos. If you take my buds. Yeah. A singing group. Right. <laughs> Colt Minos. Well, you guys said you would go. Uh, I'm sorry. Are you trying to make it heard your friends sing? Oh, that's right. They can't. What? Well, I'm no mega producer like they you. They sounded pretty I okay. Know they sing better than dogs. Well, at least James. You can turn them into stars. Right? Is this supposed to sway me? I'm Gustavo Rock. I'm a. Get drunk! <laughs> I hope you were acting. <laughs> I hope she's acting, right? Yeah, seriously. You guys just met Camille. The Palmwoods method actress queen. Oh, okay. I was about to say, she better be the way she was acting. <laughs> we got the fan on cue. <laughs> hey! What a band. Who don't care. I swear, is do I I seen her? I Are seen the girl on the right. The, movie? No. the white dress. Then no. If that seems harsh, it's because it is, and so is this town. So I don't think we properly introduced ourselves. <laughs> <Okay>. What? <laughs> Let's go to boot camp. I would have been so hurt. My feelings. <laughs> Well, now I see why he's an ass. Speaking about him who's screaming. Yes. Guys, say hi to Nicole Scherzinger from the Pussycat Dolls. Oh! <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Yeah, have you worked with them? <laughs> yes, actually on my first album. Let's just <coughs> say we had some creative differences. Nicole, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Two pop explosion. <laughs> okay. Must be the choreographer right there. We're the marketing team. We don't really have a move. Well, we could try something. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it now. Thank you. First up in boot. Oh! <laughs> I'm about to say, let's space out a little bit, fellas. Let's space out. He is great, but not serious. See dancers, not dogs. <laughs> Why he walked like that? <laughs> positions. The way he walked looks so funny. Gustavo, I think that's his name. Maybe, maybe not. I gotta keep hearing. I mean, hey, she's smart. She got the right idea. Just like that running that way. Please, Katie, don't mention it. Ten bucks. So. I would have been mad, like, yo. The beach, the girls, the shirtless overalls. I think we look good. Girl like you, girl, you are my girl, hot girl, old girl, girl to my heart. Yard Squirrel Christmas. I forgot that one was there. Uh, girl Zone, Girl Zone Remix. Girl, <laughs> girl Zone Remix. Girl, 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 which sold three million copies and was number one for five weeks. <laughs> yo, this producer, yo. Any other questions, dog? Are any of those songs from this girlenium? Oh, <laughs> no, don't blow up. Okay, great. And <laughs> funny. Do it again. No, boys, don't fight. Don't get distracted. Like your helmet, are you? Get them to stop. Guys, 
Where? Why is there pillows in there? <laughs> why is there pillows? What is going on? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I told you they were tired. Just have the boys meet me in the studio when they're finished. Guys couldn't sing. If I say you guys couldn't have done another song though. <laughs> I mean, we got fired, but the problem is we didn't try our best. Right. I tried my best. He you did. <laughs> we know he did. No. Right. Right. Guitar dude, I need some music, something inspiration. We are hockey players, brothers of the ice, and we are in a big time rush. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> big time rush from the top. Only this time, let's try not to make me want to choke you. <laughs> let's see how they sound. <laughs> they stay chasing them. All right, Logan. You got three months to make your demos. I told you the boy band was back. Yeah, right. Get out of here. No, you go. didn't. My pants are cold. <laughs> and the musical journey begins. Okay. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that seems to have been our first episode. Let me see if I can pause this here. All right, you guys, that was our first episode of the show, Big Time Rush, and uh, it was fun. It was fun. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go ahead and, you know, react to this show how I would react to any other kind of show, um, because I do feel like this show is, is more, it's more guided to, like, like for kids, you know? Um, I, I expect cheesy things to happen. I expect some probably cheesy corny lines every once in a while in episodes and I don't know I feel like this is one of those shows where you just kind of have to go in there and just expect craziness to happen each and every episode and um you know again because it's guided this this show is guided for more for kids you know what I mean um but I enjoyed it I enjoyed it I thought the song was pretty cool at the end I like that they switched it up to what they were gonna go ahead and perform uh we never we never really heard the song girl time that they were going to perform. I don't know if that's a song they actually created or not. Um, but the song that they did that, that they did perform at the end, I thought was pretty solid. It was pretty good. And I, I'm pretty sold on the show. Um, again, I'm going to have fun watching this. I'm not going to sit here watching the show and take it very seriously as far as like, you know, how I watch all my other shows. I'm just going to go into this watching it and just having fun and expecting a good time, to be honest with you. And honestly, I feel like that's what this show is probably meant to be anyways. Um, it was a really fun so uh, show so far. Um, we got to see Kendall, James, Logan, Carlos. Right now, I'm really digging Carlos. I think he's really funny. Um, I, I I don't know. It's just, it's it seems like a fun show, to be honest with you guys. Um Let's continue on, shall we? So, yeah. So, going into this, uh, I guess these guys weren't really a band or anything like that. They're just, you know, regular teenagers who like to hang out with each other. Of course, they're friends. Uh, and that's what it is. I don't think they're a band before any of this all started. Now, I'm talking about the show, okay? I'm talking about the show. I'm not talking about real life because I'm pretty positive that in real life, before the show even was possible, maybe these guys were a band. Um, but I'm saying for show, uh, for the show-wise, um, I don't think they were a band up until the auditions happened. And um, 
I don't know. They looked pretty damn good, to be honest with you. I thought they did pretty good at the end, um, and it was pretty good. It was fun. And, and, and that's all I could really say about it, to be honest with you guys. Uh, again, like I said, I'm going to be watching this, and I'm going to be like reviewing it different than I review my other shows. So I don't know how I'm going to react to this, to be honest with you guys. Like I don't know how to really break this show down other than it was just a fun and good time, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it, it it was just it was just fun. So, I mean, I'm excited to continue watching. Uh, I I really dig some of the songs. Again, as I mentioned to you guys, uh, I have an eight year old son who uh is a really big fan of the show. I've heard some of the music before. Uh, of course, you know, walking by his room, going into his room, grabbing something or whatever the case may be, I could hear the TV, of course. Um, and yeah, when the song is super catchy, I, I asked my little man like, Hey, what's that you're watching? And he told me about the show. So I know about the show. I know that this show has really cool and awesome music. Um, but that's just about it as far as what I know about it. And yeah, with that alone, I'm excited to continue watching it. You know, um, it should be fun. It should definitely be, be fun. I thought the first episode was pretty successful in my opinion. Um, there wasn't anything too bad that I would like to say about it. Um, I think so far my favorite character is Gustavo. <laughs> I think he's so funny, to be honest with you guys. Yeah, he's over the top. Yeah, he's super mean. Yeah, he's like a douche to the guys. But I don't know, just the way he was acting, the way he was, you know, just being over the top with everything just made him super funny to me. Um, I'm not sure if that was the point or not, but I thought Gustavo was funny as hell. I like all the guys, too. I think they're funny as well, too, uh, especially Carlos. I think he's funny as hell. Um but I liked it. I liked what I've seen so far, and it's enough for, for me to want to continue watching, and I hope this is something that you guys are excited for uh, here in Geeked Out Nation. Hopefully, you guys are, you know, pumped up that we're going to be watching the series together, and, you know, feel free. Comment down below. Let us know about anything that you guys would like to know about um, in general or anything about the show in, in general that you guys would like to bring up. Feel free. Let us know about it, and... Uh, yeah, that's just about it. So thank you guys once again. Feel free to leave us a comment. Let us know what you guys thought on this first episode. And uh, hopefully I see you guys back on the next episode of Big Time Rush. You guys take care, and I will see you then.